thanks to a brand new update for one of the creative partners for Zack Snyder's DCEU and Justice League, this of course being Jay Oliva, he revealed that Zack Snyder had other plans beyond just using Darkseid in Justice League 2 and 3. And the other villain that would have been featured is none other than the Reverse Flash. So that's what their plan was, because for years now, we've known that ultimately in Justice League Part 3, we were going to be seeing an all-out war with Darkseid finally showing up on Earth, and this would have been everything that the DCEU had built up with all those crossovers, Cyborg, The Flash, Green Lantern, and countless other projects that they were working on were all going to converge in Justice League Part 3, but Part 2, interestingly enough, would have been something that more or less uh, ties itself close to the plans that they were doing. And as he reveals, the ultimate plan was to flashpoint it. And Zack Snyder, of course, talked about this before. The idea was to get to Justice League 3. That was kind of going to be a flashpoint. And then after that, they were going to reboot the universe and really reset everything. And this cast was officially going to be on its way out. So Flash would have obviously happened. He would have been involved with Reverse Flash somehow, but Reverse Flash would have been more prominent in Justice League Part 2 and then Part 3 as part of the whole Flashpoint-style story that they're telling that involves Darkseid as well. And this would have led to that giant, uh, well, reboot. So it's interesting to kind of get this info because uh, it really shows you that there was a giant push to put Ezra Miller's Flash as sort of a central character and we kind of have learned that recently through other interviews uh, related to people that worked on previous iterations of the film, that he was really supposed to be like the crux of everything. And if you guys remember, way back in the day, they were saying that The Flash was going to be their answer to Spider-Man. This was going to be their version of a younger character who's learning, who's our eyes into this universe, and that essentially they were going for the Tom Holland vibe for Flash. And I think you see that, but ultimately... It didn't happen and we now know why but it's kind of cool to think that they had a lot more planned than what we know and um well ultimately that's gonna remain like that just an unknown thing that we'll never get to see